Hey everyone, Ryan from Me Bike Escape, and in this video, we're gonna share with you some accessories that you might wanna consider for your Rad Power Bikes Rad Expand 5, so let's get into it. Before we get started going through all of the accessories, if you are looking to purchase a Rad Power Bike, please consider using the link in the description before you make your purchase. It's a free and easy way to help support the channel. Thanks in advance for your support. I will also link a blog post which will list all of these products and your purchase also helps support eBike Escape. Really appreciate that. And I'll also link our top e-bike brands page and our full electric bike accessories list as well as our electric bike discounts code page where I track all the deals on the electric bike brands that I follow. With that, let's take a look at some accessories. We have this Rad Expand 5, which was recently announced, fully decked out here. We'll actually start up here in the front of the Rad Expand 5 with the front rack. So this is an option. All Rad Power Bikes models have these four bolts and you can attach the front rack here. Of course, a basket could go here as well. Small or large will fit on here. And you can also buy the basket all in one that you can see here on our Rad Mission. And of course that front rack is going to give you additional cargo capability. Just a note that when you attach the front rack, the light does become then mounted to the rack. And obviously then it's not going to move when you move the handlebars. Let's move on to the cockpit of the bike. Let's talk about these first. I did a separate video on these. I'll put a link in the top right hand corner of your screen. These are the handlebar jacks. And what these are great for is the at-home bike mechanic because you can flip the bike over and you won't have any issues perhaps with the ground coming in contact with the LCD screen. So there's two of them here. I actually have the other one here and they attach magnetically for storage and really like these. It's an affordable accessory, a great accessory for perhaps someone you know that owns an electric bike. I've certainly been enjoying them. And of course, an e-bike rated stand can cost several hundred dollars and these are significantly cheaper. Okay, next let's talk about mirrors, my favorite mirror brand here. So we have a half knee bar end mirror. Now I decided to put a bar end mirror on the Rad Expand 5 as opposed to the handlebar ones, but you could perhaps fit a handlebar mounted one next to the LED screen if you choose. Now this is one of the smaller mirrors offered by Hafni. You can also buy one that's a little bit larger, so it just depends on your preference. So I'll be sure to link a bunch of them in the blog post. Next to the mirror, we have the Ergon GP1 Nexus roll-off grips. Now what makes these grips unique is of course they are locking compared to the rubberized grips that come on the Rad Expand 5. Now the roll-off Nexus means that it's made to be used actually with bikes with twist shifters, but also works with bikes that have twist grip throttles. So that's really nice. And they do have various designs. You can get some cork ones if you'd like as well. All right, next we have my favorite cell phone mount. It shows up in all of our videos. This is the Night Eyes Raptor cell phone mount. Now, what I like about this mount is it's super easy to install. It simply attaches with a rubber strap and then it hugs the four corners of your screen. Now, depending on your phone, this is gonna be nice because the ones that clamp on the side will sometimes hit your buttons. And I haven't had any issues with losing my phone, so I'll stick with the Night Eyes Raptor. I think I own three of them at this point. Next to the Night Eyes Raptor, we have the Planet Bike Blaze 600 SLX. If you're doing a lot of riding at night, and even in the day, I really like this light because it has a flashing mode, so you can run that during the day. And of course, it's going to be much more powerful than the stock light that comes on the Rad Expand 5. Also gives you a little bit of side visibility. And if you want even more power, they do now sell a 800 SLX. Moving on from the Planet Bike Light, let's talk about helmets. Now I do feature various helmets depending on which companies decide to send me them, but this has to be the helmet that I wear the most. This is the Senna R1 Evo. 
This is a helmet that I did a full review on with my wife. You can check out that if you're interested. Now, the only downside to the Senna helmets is they currently do not offer a MIPS version. I hope they do in the future. But what makes these helmets great is that it is a communication helmet. So you can talk with your riding partner. You can listen to music if you'd like. There's speakers on each side. So definitely check out my full review. And what's really amazing is even in heavy wind while you're riding, you can still hear the person who is also wearing this helmet and they can pair with multiple of them. Now, another product that you might wanna consider from Senna, I actually have them attached on this helmet. We did a review on these as well. These are the Senna Pies, so these do not come with this helmet, but these allow any helmet to be converted to a smart helmet. So these are a little bit more affordable, come in at $99 each. So be sure to check out the Senna helmets. Speaking with your riding partner, whoever you're riding with is a game changer. And that's why my wife and I wear these helmets the most. Next, let's talk about pedals. So the Rad Expand 5 comes with simple plastic pedals. If you want something that is perhaps has a larger platform and offers more grip, you can upgrade to pedals such as these ones from Hafni. I really like these. You can see they are showing a little bit of wear at this point. And they do come in a bunch of different colors. I would probably put on the orange ones on this bike because then it will match with the Rad Expand aesthetics towards the rear. But they do have purple and blue. So be sure to check those out. Okay, next let's talk about comfort. This is the accessory that I see most people purchase because Saddles are definitely a personal preference, so you might want to upgrade from the one that comes with Rad Power Bikes. As you can see here, we have the Cloud9 saddle. This is one that we've actually been using for a few years. I find that most people really like the Cloud9 seats. They offer various different widths and styles. This is the one that has a little bit more of the neoprene. And some other seats that you might want to consider that I personally find comfortable, you can see we have the Rad Power Bikes Comfort Saddle. This is an additional accessory sold right from Rad Power Bikes. This one feels really cushy as well. Again, it's going to be personal preference, but I don't think you can go wrong if you want to buy this one from Rad Power Bikes when you're purchasing your Rad Expand 5. I think that's a good idea as well. Definitely a step up from the stock seat. And finally, we have perhaps the most unique bike seat that I've seen, but some people rave about this seat. It's extra wide. This is the YLG oversized bike seat. Kind of hugs your hips a little bit. And what's nice, of course, with saddles from Amazon, you can buy them from Amazon with free returns. So you can perhaps buy a couple and decide which one you want. So check out a bunch of these saddles. But if you really want to improve comfort on your electric bike, I highly recommend a suspension seat post. This is the one that I believe is the best value for the price. I will put links to this that you can buy on Amazon as well as Rad Power Bike's website in case, again, you wanna pick it up when you purchase your Rad Power Bike. The other brands that you can consider is the Connect suspension seat post as well as one made by Redshift. Those are also very high quality, but the price is a little bit higher. Again, we did a separate video on this so you can really see this in action, but I'll go ahead and push on it so you can get an idea of how this feels. This is what I call the game changer accessory. And lastly, the one other reason that you might want to consider suspension seat post for your Rad Expand 5 is because, of course, the Rad Expand 5 does not come with a front suspension. All right, next, let's talk about this case. So this is actually a new product offered by Rad Power Bikes, and this is a hard case for your battery. It does fit both of the battery styles, whether you have the Shark style batteries or whether you have the new Rad Rover 6 Plus or the Rad City 5 Plus with the semi-integrated batteries. But it's definitely, it protects your battery. You can put your charger in here as well. So if you want something that fits your battery and you're gonna be on the go, highly recommend taking care of your battery because it is very expensive to replace. Next, let's talk about storage capability. One of the things that I really liked that Rad Power Bikes did was they included the rear rack on the Rad Expand 5. That was usually an optional accessory. And you can see we've put the small basket on here, but you could purchase the large basket. And they do sell bags that fit here. 
We've been using the large roll top bags. So highly recommend you getting the bag as well if you want something that just works right from Rad Power Bikes. And of course, that's going to add additional cargo capability to your electric bike. Another accessory new from Rad Power Bikes is the super rad light. It's actually very bright. Um, so if you're looking for additional visibility, this is a cool way to accessorize your bike. It also has a always on mode as well. It is rechargeable. Next, let's talk about bike pumps. So I have always recommended purchasing a high quality bike pump with your electric bike, but I've been using this portable pump to pump up all of the bike tires on the electric bikes that I've been reviewing. And what I really like about it is I can attach it. It'll tell me what the pressure is and then I can simply turn it up to what I want the PSI to be and hit the on button and it'll simply pump up the tires to my specification and it is rechargeable. And this one actually happens to have a light on it as well, which is handy. So this is a great accessory in my opinion. You could perhaps even put it in your rear bag here and bring it along with you. Just make sure it's always charged up. Next, let's talk about bike security. So this is another product that I did a separate video on. If you wanna check that out and learn a little bit more about it. But this is the WSD Cam Bike Alarm. It's a very cheap accessory. Now what you'll wanna do with this, and they do sell mounts now with this, but you can hide it on your electric bike and it is a very loud alarm. So what you'd wanna do is pair this with a high quality lock. I did a bunch of videos with Kryptonite that you can check out. And I also like the locks from Abus quite a bit, but let's go ahead and turn this on. And I'll probably need to turn the volume down on the video so it's not super loud. It does come with a key fob, very similar to the one that you might find on your vehicle. Hit the lock button. It will ding once when it is armed. And if you move it, it will give you a warning. And then, like I said, very loud, highly recommend a cheap way to offer additional protection for your electric bike. All right, so those are some accessories that you might wanna consider for your Rad Expand 5. Again, if you're looking to make a purchase on radpowerbikes.com, be sure to check out the link in the description. It's a free and easy way to help support the channel. We really appreciate your support. Again, check out the blog post that will list everything that we talk about here today. And if you have a different favorite accessory, let me know in the comment section below and I'll see if I can cover it in a future video. With that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.